Unit 1-5 is exploring angle pairs. Read the learning goal in the scale and figure out where you are before we go over the lesson. Special angle pairs can help us identify geometric relationships. We can use these angle pairs to find angle measures. Adjacent angles are two coplanar angles with a common side, a common vertex, and no common interior points. Look at angle A and angle B. They share a common side and a common vertex but do not have common interior points. Let's look at angle one and angle two. They share a common side, a common vertex, and no common interior points. However, angle DBC is not adjacent to angle DBA because angle DBC is inside, therefore they share these common interior points. Look at this example, angle one and angle two are not adjacent because angle one and angle two have different vertex. Vertical angles are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. Angle one and angle three are vertical angles. Here are the opposite rays. Angle two and angle four are vertical angles. Here are their opposite rays. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90. Each angle is called the complement of the other. So angle 1 plus angle 2 is 90. Angle A plus angle B is also 90. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180. Each angle is called the supplement of the other. Angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. 180 degrees. Angle A and angle B are supplementary. 110 plus 70, 180 degrees. Note they do not have to touch or be adjacent in order to be supplementary. In example 1 part A, let's use the diagram to tell if angle BFD and angle CFD are adjacent angles. Here's angle BFD. Here is angle CFD. Even though the two angles share this side and a common vertex, the interior points of angle CFD are also interior points of angle BFD, so these two angles are not adjacent. Let's look at part B. Angle AFB and angle EFD are vertical angles. Well, let's take a look at that. Here's angle AFB, and here's angle EFD. Even though ray FA and ray FD are opposite rays, ray FB and ray FE are not. Therefore, the two angles are not vertical angles. Let's take a look at part C. Part C says that angle AFE and angle BFC are complementary. Let's take a look. Angle AFE has a measure of 62 degrees. Angle BFC has a measure of 28 degrees. In order for two angles to be complementary, their measures must have a sum of 90 degrees. Since 62 plus 28 equals 90, these two angles are complementary. Pause the video and do you try number one. Okay, let's see if the statements are true. Part A says angle AFE and angle CFD are vertical angles. Let's check. Here's angle AFE and here's angle CFD. If you notice, ray FA and ray FD are opposite rays. Ray FE and ray FC are opposite rays. Therefore, angle AFE and angle CFD are vertical angles. Part B says angle BFC and angle DFE are supplementary. Well, let's look. Here's angle BFC and here's angle DFE. The measure of angle BFC is 28. The measure of angle DFE is 118. Since 28 plus 118 is 146, that does not equal 180 degrees, therefore the angles are not supplementary. 
Part C says angle BFD and angle AFB are adjacent angles. Here is angle BFD. Here is angle AFB. Since the two angles share ray FB and a common vertex but do not have common interior points, angle BFD and angle AFB are adjacent angles. Some relationships in geometry you can assume to be true from a diagram that has no marks or measures. There are other relationships you cannot assume directly. For example, you can assume that angles are adjacent, the, that angles are adjacent and supplementary, and that angles are vertical angles. However, you absolutely cannot conclude that angles or segments are congruent, an angle is a right angle, or angles are complementary, if there are no congruent marks or angle measures listed. In example two, we're going to make conclusions based on this diagram. Let's start by looking for congruency marks. Notice how angle one and angle two have these congruent arcs. We can definitely conclude angle one and angle two are congruent. Now let's look for vertical angles. If you notice, this ray and this ray are opposite rays. This ray and this ray are opposite rays. Therefore, angle three and angle five are vertical angles. Now let's look for adjacent angles. Angle one and angle two are adjacent. Angle two and angle three are adjacent. Angle three and angle four are adjacent. Angle four and angle five are adjacent. And angle five and angle one are adjacent. They all share a common ray and a common vertex, but they do not share common interior points. Now let's look for angles that are adjacent and supplementary. We want angles that touch, but also form a straight line. So look at angle five and angle four. Look at angle four and angle three. These angle pairs are both adjacent and supplementary. Pause the video and do you try number two. In part A, can we conclude that segment TW and segment WV are congruent? Well, we have congruency marks on both segments, so yes, we can. In part B, is segment PW congruent to segment WQ? Since there are no marks, we cannot conclude that they are congruent. Part C, can we conclude that angle TWQ is a right angle? Although it appears to be 90 degrees, without a number or the right angle indicator, we cannot assume that it is a right angle. For part D, can we conclude that segment TV bisects segment PQ? What they're asking is, does segment TV cut segment PQ into two congruent parts? Since we do not know if segment PW is congruent to segment WQ, we cannot conclude that segment TV bisects segment PQ. A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common side are opposite rays. The angles of a linear pair form a straight line. If two angles form a linear pair, they are also supplementary. Remember, supplementary means they have a combined measure of 180 degrees. Example three says that angle KPL and angle JPL are a linear pair. Remember, a linear pair means they form a straight line and have a combined measure of 180 degrees. Let's start by writing that equation. If the measure of angle KPL equals 2x plus 24 and the measure of angle JPL equals 4x plus 36, what are the measures of angle KPL and angle JPL? Let's start by substituting these expressions in for our two angles. Next, let's combine like terms. We know that 2x plus 4x is 6x. We know that 24 plus 36 is 60. 6x plus 60 equals 180. Now, let's get this 60 to the other side of the equal sign by subtracting it. So 6x will now equal 120. To get x alone, let's divide both sides by 6 
and x will equal 20. To find the measure of angle KPL and angle JPL, we want to substitute 20 in for x into each expression. So the measure of angle KPL will equal 2 times 20 plus 24. 2 times 20 is 40, plus 24 is 64. The measure of angle JPL is 4 times 20, or 80, plus 36, which is 116. Now, let's check. Since 64 plus 116 does equal 180, we know we've done a correct job. Pause the video and do you try number 3. For part A, remember we can check our results by combining the measures of the two angles. If they equal 180, we know we are correct. Part B says that the angle ADB and angle BDC are a linear pair. If the measure of angle ADB is 3x plus 14 and the measure of angle BDC is 5x minus 2, what are the measures of angle ADB and the measures of angle BDC? Let's start with our equation. Let's substitute, isolate our variable, and find x. Since x equals 21, we'll go ahead and substitute 21 for x into both expressions. Since 77 plus 103 equals 180, we know we are correct. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Its endpoint is at the angle vertex. Within the ray, a segment with the same endpoint is also an angle bisector. The ray or segment bisects the angle. In the diagram, ray KM is the angle bisector of angle LKJ. So, Angle LKM and angle MKJ are congruent. Example 4 says that ray AC bisects angle DAB. Let's start by making a diagram of that. If the measure of angle DAC is 58 degrees, what is the measure of angle DAB? Well, here's angle DAC. If it is 58 degrees, then angle CAB must also be 58 degrees since an angle bisector creates two congruent angles. So in our multiple choice question, the answer would be B. Pause the video and do you try number four. Ray KM bisects angle JKL. Start with a diagram. If the measure of angle JKL is 72 degrees, what is the measure of angle JKM? JKM is half of this entire angle. So if the whole thing is 72 degrees, angle JKM will be half of that. So the measure of angle JKM is 36 degrees. Okay, check your progress. Complete the lesson check and then check your answers. Don't forget to check your answers. If you have questions, ask me tomorrow in class. If you're feeling like you really have it, try the challenge. Now reread the learning goal Look at the scale and see if you're any higher than you were when we started the lesson.